Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial of Attack ERP 19. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss about the POS module. Um, so, without wasting any further time, let's jump in. So, for instance, I've created a company called Company. So, let me open it. Okay, you can log in using the username and password, which is admin admin. So um, if you're installing attack for the first time, then um, once you create the company, so the dashboard will be uh, fresh, like it will be brand new. Then if you want to enable the POS, then you need to go to settings and then enable POS. Go to module settings and then search for POS. Enable the point of sale option here and then just press OK. And then there is another thing which we need to do. That is we need to set the default accounts. For that, you need to create the default bank account here. Uh, so if you don't, if you haven't created a bank account, then if you open POS, then a, an error will show like this. Uh, you need to set the default bank account. Okay. So for that, you need to go to bank and then create a sample bank. Okay. For instance, I will add the bank name as just bank and then just save it. Like enable the checkbox merchant account and then just save it. Now go to settings, module settings, and then choose default and then choose bank over here. Once you're done with that, just press OK. Now go back again to POS. OK, so this is our POS interface. Uh, on the top left corner, you can see the POS voucher number here. Uh, it will be um, it will be deep by default. It will be system generated. You can uh, change it if you want to. You can uh, use the requester reviews here or you can lock the vouchers using this lock button. And then this is the barcode reading uh, column. You can uh, either enter the product code here or then or, or directly um, scan the uh, product using the barcodes from this um, column. Or else if you want to choose the product, you can make use of this lookup function. Here once you press it, uh, the name, the code, stock, sales rate, and the international barcode of the product will be shown here. You can um, mention any of these criteria and search the product over here. You can either enter the international barcode or the product code or the name, etc., anything like that. And then choose the product from the grid. Since I haven't added any products, it is not listed here. So I'll just add one product. Product one default purchase rate is 100 and the sales rate is 200. Just save it now. Coming back to BOS, if you press the lookup function over here, you can see the product and the details over here. Okay, since we have uh, not um, added any purchase invoice or any opening stock any kind of uh, stuff like that the stock is zero so once you add uh, any purchase or any opening stock or related transactions the stock will increment and if you want to enter the mobile number of the party then you can specify it over here you can enter the mobile number uh, and you can search um, the customer name based on their mobile number and also you can uh, change the party using this button by default it, it will be a cash sale uh, the POS will be mainly used in supermarkets for faster billing so uh, the design and the everything is uh, very defined so it is very user friendly uh, for the end users so uh, they necessarily don't have to change the parties um, every every time so by default it will be the cash account you can change it from here if you want to and then uh, you can just double tap on here and you can add the product. If you want to change the quantity or rate, etc., like that, you can double click on here and then change the quantity or rate. Or if you can choose the multi rate from here, you can see the uh, stock and quantity, like uh, the quantity, the stock, uh, and the total net amount of here. Uh, if you have uh, provided any additional discounts, uh, then the discount will be shown here. And then you can you can either use the uh, keyboard uh, number number pads or you can uh, use the on-screen number pads from here. And then just press OK. 
uh, once you made the changes. If you want to increment the quantity, you can either change it from here or you can just plus, press this plus button. And uh, in order to reduce the quantity, you can press this uh, negative sign. If you want to delete the product, you can uh, press this dustbin icon so that the product will be deleted from the grid. And then for the touch screen interface, you can press this button and you can the groups will be uh, shown here. Once you press the group, the products will be listed over here in this column. Okay, so once you add it, the products will be incremented here. So since, um, as I mentioned about earlier, the design is uh, fully capable of touch screen or both keypad and both touch based uh, operation. Mm, and it is uh, unlike the previous version, uh, it is very user friendly, it is very uh, futuristic design. And if you want to open the crash drawer, you can press this button um, you need to verify the admin details over here. To, you, can, you, you must enter the admin details here. And if you want to configure the weight scale, then you need to uh, press it, enter the admin detail, admin username and password. Sorry. You need to enter the admin username and password here. Admin, admin. Okay. So uh, based on the barcode details, you need to enter the postcard, product code length, etc. like that. You need to refer the barcode um, and enter all the corresponding details over here. Uh, we will explain uh, det in detail about the vein scale in another tutorial. Uh, so for the time being, I'm skipping this. And if you want to search another bill, then you can uh, uh, use this option to search the previous invoice from a particular date. And then you can either do cash payments or card payments from this uh, two buttons, uh, or you can you need to specify the salesman in the default uh, over there. You need to specify the salesman here. So there will be a button over here, over here, right in the top right corner. You need to select it. You need to specify the salesman. Since we haven't added any salesman, that's why it is not showing over here. You need to specify the salesman first. Uh, you can set it in, uh, as a default uh, salesman from the uh, settings option. So in order to do that, you need to create an employee. So I'll create uh, employee one is a salesman. Just save it. You don't need to specify the user role if you want to, if you want to specify the user role. If you want to specify the user role, then you can do it over there and then just save it. For instance, I'm not specifying the user role. Now I'm going to module settings again, going to the default and set the salesman over here. Employee one as salesman. And now going back to sales and pause. See when I check it, see the default um, salesman will be employee one. Now we're gonna add the product again. And now if you choose the payments option, all the three cash, check and credit card, all the details will be shown here. You can either make the payment, settle the payment as cash payment, or you can do it as check payment, or you can uh, do the credit card payment, or else you can do partial payments as well. Okay. And for easier transaction, we have added a dedicated two buttons for cash and card transactions. They can just press this button and enter the uh, details here. If they want to add denominations, then they can do it over here using that button, that link. If it is a credit card, then they have to specify the card type over here, like MasterCard, Visa card, anything like that. And then they have mod extra like that and just settle it. Okay. Under the card number and then just settle it. So that's how a transaction is done. The balance is zero. The transaction is completed. Okay, so the next one is uh, holding and retrieving the vouchers. So for instance, if you are uh, currently billing for uh, one particular customer, then uh, the bill is currently, uh, you are currently billing for one party, then you can hold this particular voucher by pressing this hold button or the F6 button in the keyboard. So now the voucher is holded and I can bill another voucher if I want to enter the quantity, increase the quantity and 
uh, then just hold this voucher again and have to retrieve it retrieve the previous voucher if i want to retrieve the previous voucher i can hold this one again and then retrieve the other one okay so i can mention which one i want to retrieve and then just save it or i can add any products and save it okay likewise uh, i can retrieve the other voucher and increase the quantity if i want and then just save it again so that's how we hold and retrieve the vouchers um, so that is pretty much about the um, POI section you can see the total amount uh, total quantity uh, gross amount the total discount the total tax extra like here over here and then the default depot will be mentioned here where the user the login user will be specified here the employee uh, and if there is any sales type like um, sales tax or anything like that um, you can specify it over here and the time and date will be mentioned here and if you want to change the voucher days and etc like that you can change it over here if they want to change the depot then they can change it from this um, uh, button if they want to add any party name then they can enter it over here and that is it about the POS section um, pretty much uh, if they want to add the poll display and kind of stuff like that then they can go to the settings button over here in the top right corner and then enter the admin password and username see now they can uh, see this um, settings like the using barcode option is for like if I choose the using barcode option the quantity of the row will increase uh, upon adding the same product or else uh, the another another row will be generated for each product if i enable this using barcode option then the quantity of that particular row will increase if i add the same product again and again and then the next one is print while saving so once you press the save button they can the print will come um, and this is this option is for the touch screen uh, based system like uh, on double tap on any text box over here like mobile number or anything uh, a keyboard will pop the on screen keyboard will pop up uh, or either they can uh, choose the key on screen keyboard or uh, or they can uh, choose the handwriting panel uh, on the double tap or in any text fields if, if they want to enable the poll display they can enable it over here the settings will be uh, shown here they can uh, make the changes um, here they can uh, add any text they want and the corresponding details will be shown in the poll display and if they want to see the print preview then they can enable it over here uh, show the rate edit window if they want to show the rate edit window they can enable this option print dialog box like uh, they can specify the printers and etc like that and then also um, they can um, show the keyboard based on the touch see uh, like i mentioned earlier the pos the new pos is designed for both touch and the keyboard based users uh, both of them can easily handle the application it is very user friendly it is very um, it is it is designed very in a futuristic manner and that is pretty much all about the pos um, thank you for watching and have a great day